On Thursday, an incident involving a prop gun discharged by actor Alec Baldwin on the set of the movie Rust killed cinematographer Heine Hutchins and injured director Joel Souza. The incident is not the first such tragedy involving a prop gun. Previously, Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son, died at 28 after a fatal shooting involving a prop gun. Similarly, in 1984 actor John Eric Hexum died from a self-inflicted gunshot involving a firearm with blanks. Many of the details regarding the shooting on set of Rust have yet to come to light. The incident is currently under investigation, according to the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office. According to investigators it appears that the scene being filmed involved the use of a prop firearm when it was discharged, a release from the sheriff's office said. Detectives are investigating how and what type of projectile was discharged. What is a prop gun? Those less familiar with the lingo used in Hollywood may not have previously heard of prop guns. A prop gun or prop firearm can mean several different things. The term can refer to fake guns but also real weapons that are being used as props. According to Yale's undergraduate production program, the term prop gun can be used to describe non-firing, rubber and toy guns. The program cited that prop weapons can be capable of inflicting actual bodily harm and need a to be handled with a level of safety protocol. Prop guns can also refer to functional firearms that discharge blank ammunition, according to Sonoma State University's Theater Arts Department. These can produce a noise and can also pose a fire hazard, the site states. How can a prop gun kill someone? Functional firearms can be deadly, even when using blanks. Such was the case with Hexum's accidental, self-inflicted blank cartridge gun shot to the head on the set of Cover Up. In an article for The Conversation, filmmakers Christopher Gist and Sarah Mayberry explained how Hexum's death occurred. Instead of using a bullet, blanks use wads of paper, plastic, felt or cotton. This wadding ensures you get a certain level of flame out of the gun, they wrote. The force of the wadding was enough to fatally injure him. The Actors' Equity Association has called blanks extremely dangerous. Even though they do not fire bullets out of the gun barrel, they still have a powerful blast that can maim or kill. On RJR Props and Set Dressing Services website, a company that rents prop guns for use in film, television and video, it clearly states that their blank firing guns are dangerous and require a license or a registered armorer. How could this happen? According to the Actors' Equity Association, those handling props should treat all guns as if they are loaded and deadly. The group says to never point a firearm at anyone. On set, the property master or armorer should train actors in the safe use of any firearm they must handle.
other prop gun accidents, John Eric Hexum, Brandon Lee. In addition to Hexum's 1984 death by a blank firearm shooting and Bruce Lee's son's fatal shooting involving a prop gun, there have been other on-set accidents that have been the result of explosives and other stage weapons. In 1982, three actors were killed and six helicopter passengers were injured on the set of Twilight Zone after special effects explosions caused a helicopter to crash. Two of the actors that died were children. The incident was responsible for new procedures and safety standards in the filmmaking industry after sparking years of civil and criminal action over what had happened. Though not deadly, Al Pacino accidentally burned his hand by holding the barrel of a gun that had been fired during production for 1983's Scarface. suffered permanent hearing damage in one ear during filming of Terminator 2, Judgment Day in 1991 when she fired a gun inside an elevator without ear plugs. Alec Baldwin discharged prop gun an incident that killed cinematographer, injured director. Gun death at Alec Baldwin film Rust isn't the first accident on a movie set.